Welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today we are going to be talking about a new video. So, like I always start my video with an um, introduction. Um, let's say if you're new to uh, jobskillshare.com, first you go to jobskillshare.com, you register, then you click on help desk support specialist course, then you click on learning path, and once you go down, this video is going to be under this section right here basic web server slash portal training um, portal training is I'm going to talk about today in this video is just basic web server and what we do in um, basic web server stuff how is it related to um, help us so for example you work with a company where let's say for example this is the company and they have 100 users and that 100 users are using a small site which is called intranet okay they're using a small site which is called intranet that is just internally used for document sharing uh, for uh, for like groups creating groups forms and and information many many things can be ha can be done with the intranet portals so um, today we are going to talk about that. How is it uh, important? Why is it important for help desk? Because you guys do work on internet portals, uh, stuff like that, basic stuff. You don't you don't do too much with it, but you guys are definitely going to get calls, uh, access issues, uh, page, well, maybe editing a page or maybe writing something in there. If you are like that one man IT in there, then you might be doing this stuff. Or if there's a username issue, uh, user and password issue. Uh, um, uh, image syncing and all that kind of stuff so for example this is jobskillshare.com we have 100 users in this we have running an internet and we are using IIS okay so this stuff let me tell you you guys are not going to be installing the whole IIS server yourself this could be done for you so you start a job you got this running you got a portal running you would be dealing with some of the basic stuff that relates to IIS so I'm gonna go to the server and exactly Oops. just drop my mic sorry about that <laughs> alright so let's go back to the video here um, and I'm going to the server so the server right here is IIS is already installed on this server so if somebody tell me how did how did you get this right there this is also a role on the server so if you click on tools and not sorry you, you go to the um, dashboard let's go to the dashboard and here add roles and features so when we click on that you go to click next next and then you click on server rule right here and what is going to happen on the bottom you will see windows web server iis this this that and it will install all that when you click on next 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 and this will be done by administrator too uh, since this is not a part of our course, we're not going to go through how to do this stuff. Um, so once after everything is done, you click this, you'll see this right here. This tab will appear, IIS, and then to get into the IIS, you just click on Tools, and then on the bottom you see IIS Information System Services Manager. You click on that, and what's going to happen is that you're going to see another window. Uh, yep, there you go. So now you see that this is where everything is running so when you go to the company and you type jobskillshare.com and you see the page comes up uh, like a local portal comes up and there you see the company's information login and um, uh, uh, announcements and stuff like that that's that's the that's the user front there's a back end to it which is running from here now I'm not saying only IIS can do this there could be any other servers uh, web servers like Apache, some different servers running um, your portal, but th it could be similar to this. There could be a lot of things at the back end that um, you're not going to be dealing with. But then some of the calls as a, has a help desk person, um, and if you're in a specialist at like a level two, level three, you might be working on this stuff too. So tell me when you, when you tell me the user end how did you get to the user and basically the sites are under this area right here so this is a default site uh, when you install IS it just keep it just creates a default um, a site for you so I can go to this site default website and then click on browse right here to tell me what is the end how is the end user is going to see it so when you click on the user end 
you will see this little site right here so you see this it's showing you guys a web site or the web area of the the web end of the the web server so now users see this area but as an admin when you go back to the manager you see this end right here so now what will be your job so you know sometimes help us let's say for example that portal is down there's something wrong with it let's say let me just go ahead stop it right now somehow the services stopped for this for this site let me click on here and stop it this one okay so somehow this this was running and there was a service like for example I go to my task manager and then there was the um, somebody logged in from their phone and what happened is that they it, ke it keeps a cache on your phone is running and there's some different services like right here like maybe something happened to one of the services got stopped and it's not running anymore so now let's say if I'm gonna go ahead and some user goes in and say if they want to log into their portal let's see what's gonna happen they're gonna they're gonna see something with an error right now let me go back and just stop that right now because I think Okay, go ahead. Oh, it's because it's cached, so let me go back in there and type local host. Yep, it's still cached. Alright, let's just stop it again because I think I did the wrong one. Alright, so let's see. Let's go back and now click on browse. So a user goes in there and then type the portal address and let's see what's going to happen here page can't be displayed so that's what because it was just taking a little time for it to stop the service so that tells me that something went wrong and let's say as an administrator um, you you are the first person goes in at like 6 or 5 a.m. and your manager tells you to okay go ahead go to that server and restart the IIS and uh, now you're new to the system if you watch this video and you try things then you would be really comfortable doing this stuff if you're new to it and you're gonna be really scared doing things like oh my god okay I don't wanna mess things up so you just go ahead and click on start again or restart it and what's gonna happen the services will kick in and let's just give it a minute and we're gonna do the same option again and let's see if we're gonna see the front end again alright so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and there you go you see it right now it came up so basic stuff like that you would get calls and even though the uh, past few weeks I was working on this stuff too um, I, I did work on it so this is a, some kind of these are the calls you're gonna get for sure if you're working on a portal if your system and almost all the companies use some kind of internal portal and they use some kind of web server so you would need to know this stuff uh, not too much you're not dealing with creating sites over here you're not dealing with um, changing configurations and stuff like that but sometimes you know you would be working like you know we have a portal a help desk portal that is running under the whole IS system and then one of the issues were that uh, users were not able to install um, uh, sorry users were not able to uh, upload uh, maximum more than like 20 MB or uh, all that kind of stuff so you would need to figure out those kind of stuff you would get a call you you create a call with a you could do your own Google searching but you would call the vendor since you're paying them and then they will basically um, walk you through and they'll tell you to okay go to this and then type on uh, you know go to edit permissions or anything like that um, all this stuff you know you can just they can walk you through it so there's a lot of stuff in IS. This is a huge thing. I mean, we we can't as a help desk. You are not dealing with anything in between here. Like you're not doing this stuff. But but there could be a cause that you they will walk you through it. And then uh, the best thing you could do is for you guys, which is also going to be a part of our project, is you can go to your Windows on your Windows 7 or Windows 8. Um, what you can do is, or if you have Vista, you can go to Control Panel and um, go to uh, programs features so you go to your programs and features which is uh, right here programs click on programs and then you see turn windows features on or off go to that so once you see the list you see this right here internet information services you can install it 
and run it you will see the same thing that I'm looking at the, the server right now so you could also give it a try and this was just a basic video like more of a lecture video it's not a technical video so even though I showed you guys a little bit but there's gonna be other videos in the same section that we're gonna go specifically go through create a portal like a little small site and then we're gonna play around with it and um, use some other softwares too uh, not just IAS we're gonna make it uh, like Apache one a portable ones WAMP server there's one and we can install little small sites and play around with it and see we're gonna break it down and then turn it back up again and those are the real kind of stuff you know real in real world real businesses this is everyday thing they run on this site they everybody's online there something goes down who's responsible IT department and if there's no one around somebody's gonna call you and ask you to do these per perform these steps uh, even though you you don't know things but you they're gonna walk you through it but it's good to know about this stuff you know just get used to these terms IAS somebody told you to do, look at the screens and different software that that companies using these days but once you get the idea of these web servers and about the, the the front end, user end, you would understand so as soon as you go to a company and make a pass an interview and the first days are so confusing for you like oh my god like hmm, I don't know what they're using like and you see you see something in internet or a portal system and if you watch this video it's going to your mind is going to start working like oh okay they're using this there's some kind of back in the back there's some kind of web server running and in future I'll be working on that so let me just google some stuff about that if they're using IIS these are good videos to watch if they're using some other server watching other videos and get used to it you know and install it on a, on a virtual machine and play around with it break it down do every single thing with it and just get that thing um, uh, the, get the confidence just working on it uh, so that's just a basic video in the web servers and we're gonna go in details like I said every section we do a little lecture video do a little touch up on it and then in and after that we go deep in there to get to the specialist level alright thank you all for watching see you guys in a different video